Mitchell Trubisky, you know him, you love him. The man drafted 8 picks above Patrick Mahomes has had an interesting career to say the least. So without any further ado, the story of Mitchell Trubisky. Trubisky being rushed, throws to the end zone for Deion Sims! He's got it for a touchdown! Out of a little town in Mentor, Ohio, Mitchell grew up with a love for football that he carried to Mentor High. Throughout his high school career, Trubisky dominated with over 9,100 yards and 92 touchdowns through the air. All of this to go along with over 1,500 yards rushing and 33 rushing touchdowns. With such a great stat line, as a senior, Mitchell was named Mr. Ohio Football after passing for over 3,700 yards and 41 touchdowns along with nearly 800 yards on the ground and 16 rushing touchdowns. Not only was Mitchell Mr. Ohio football, but he also was a 5 star and a top 10 ranked dual threat quarterback in his class, with just some nobodies and an Ohio State beast in JT Barrett ahead of him. As a top recruit, Mitchell gained some attention from schools like Cincinnati, Michigan State, Minnesota, and Alabama for some reason. But instead of likely becoming a nobody at Bama, Mitchell made the trip down to Chapel Hill and became a Tar Heel. In his first season, Mitchell redshirted, and instead of earning the starting spot the following year, yet again, he got barely any love and was only able to pass for just over 450 yards and 5 touchdowns to go along with 4 picks. The fact that Mitch didn't play that well as a backup hindered his chances to start with a quarterback like Marquise Williams ahead of him. Yet again, as a sophomore, Mitchell was the backup, with over 550 yards and 6 touchdowns to go along with the 0 interceptions. Following his much, much better sophomore season as a backup, with Marquise Williams leaving for the NFL, Mitchell was able to earn the starting spot, and the rest is history. A lot of time to throw, now he's flushed out of the pocket. He'll send it down the far sideline, Logan's there, makes the catch! As a junior, it was finally time for Trubisky to do his thing, and he did just that, with over 3,700 yards and 33 touchdowns as he was third team ACC. Not only did Trubisky just earn all ACC honors, but he also led the Tar Heels to the Sun Bowl against Stanford. And although he passed for 280 yards and two touchdowns, his two interceptions were a little too much as they lost 25 to 23. You probably think, with the season over 3,700 yards and 30 touchdowns, how is Trubisky third team? And my answer to that is Lamar Jackson and Deshaun Watson. After a solid junior year, Mitchell decided it was the right time to forego his senior year and declare for the NFL Draft. Out of college, many experts had Mitchell as a first round pick, and ESPN even went so far as to rank him the second best quarterback in the class. As one of the top prospects in the draft, Mitchell gained quite a bit of attention, especially a team out there in the Windy City in the Chicago Bears. Chicago wanted him so badly that they traded up one pick from third to second overall just to make sure that they got him. Although Mitch wasn't projected as a top three prospect, he went second overall with only Miles Garrett selected above him. What's even more crazy is this draft class was one of the most packed of all time, with players like Mahomes, Watson, McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, etc. all in the same draft. So it's kind of shocking that he was selected second overall, but anyway. As a second overall pick, there was a ton of hype surrounding Trubisky, and in the 2017 preseason, he played pretty dang well with a third highest passer rating. But instead of earning the starting spot, Mitchell was benched in favor of Mike Lennon. Following an underwhelming 1-3 start to the regular season, head coach John Fox decided to give Trubisky a shot as a starter. And against the Vikings, he played okay with over 120 yards, a touchdown, and a pick as they lost 20-17. The rest of the season played out pretty similar, and in 12 starts, Mitchell went 4-8. In 2017, Mitchell passed for nearly 2,200 yards and an even 7 touchdowns to go along with 7 picks. After being drafted second overall and performing pretty underwhelmingly, there were worries about his potential. So in 2018, Trubisky silenced the hate. Following the awful 2017 season for Chicago, John Fox was fired and Kansas City offensive coordinator Matt Nagy took the spot and helped lead the Bears to a bounce back year. Not only did the Bears get a new head coach, but some additions for the wide receiver core in Allen Robinson and Taylor Gabriel, along with the new tight end and Trey Burton, helped the offense a ton. With a brand spanking new unit in the Windy City, the Bears started 2-1 and carried that same success throughout the season, as Mitch passed for over 3,200 yards and 24 touchdowns in just a much better year overall. The Bears played so well that they even made the wild card against the Eagles, and although Mitchell drove the Bears down the field, the season ended in a heartbreak. Oh my goodness, the Bears season's going to end on a double doink. 
Following such a rough end to his best season to date, Mitchell was motivated to just keep getting better and better. And although that season Mitchell struggled a bit with 12 picks, he was named to alternate for the Pro Bowl. Luckily for Mitch, with Goff leaving for the big game, Trubisky was able to make his first Pro Bowl and didn't have to end his year in complete and utter sadness. In 2019, Trubisky was motivated to have a much better year, and hopefully this time not lose on one of the most heartbreaking kicks of all time. Although heavily motivated, Mitch receded a bit in 2019 as he passed for just over 3,100 yards and 17 touchdowns to go along with 10 interceptions. After his 2019 season, there were worries as to whether or not Trubisky was a franchise quarterback. And although he was only one year removed from a Pro Bowl appearance, it just didn't seem like Mitch was ever going to get to the same level as Watson or Mahomes. Keep in mind, by this time, Watson was already a top 5 quarterback in the league, and Mahomes had already won an MVP, was an OT away from the Super Bowl, and overall was just the best player in the league. As a result of all the success with the quarterbacks drafted below him, Mitch gained a ton of hate and many questioned why the Bears drafted so high in the first place. Not only were there doubts from fans, but even within the organization, it seems like a ton of people didn't believe in him as the Bears traded for Super Bowl MVP Nick Foles. Although Nick had won a Super Bowl with the Eagles, he was not the same and had been traded to Jacksonville following underwhelming play. So the fact that a semi-washed quarterback was a better fit than Mitch was likely a tough pill to swallow for him. But Mitchell was able to start off the year, and in the season opener against the Lions, Mitchell played some great football and scored three touchdowns as he led the Bears to a comeback victory 27-23 after trailing 23-6 entering the fourth quarter. Following such a great start to the year, many questioned if Mitchell had become the quarterback that Bears had finally dreamed of. Week 2 against the Giants was more of the same, and in the first half, the Bears were up 17-0. But his underwhelming second half, with two interceptions, almost led to the loss for the Bears, but they managed to win 17-13. And after falling to a 16-point deficit to the Falcons, Mitchell was benched in favor of Nick, who led the team to a comeback win and became the starter as a result. Following 8 games as a backup, Mitchell once again was a starter in Week 12 against the Packers because of a Foles injury. Although his last game as a starter was rough to say the least, Mitchell didn't play awful and had nearly 250 yards to go along with 3 touchdowns and 2 picks. But although he played decently well, a costly fumble return for a touchdown was the nail in the coffin as they lost 41-25. With Foles out the following week once again, Mitchell started against the Lions and passed for over 250 yards and a touchdown, but once again lost a fumble within the team's 10 yard line and with under 2 minutes left the Lions scored and yet again the Bears lost. <laughs> Going up against the Texans was an interesting matchup for Mitch, as it was him versus Deshaun, who was widely viewed as a much better selection. But not in that game, as Mitchell passed for over 250 yards and 3 touchdowns as the Bears rolled over the Texans 36-7. <laughs> Finally! Against Nick's old team in Jacksonville, Trubisky played well with over 250 yards and 2 touchdowns to go along with only 1 pick as they won big 41-17. In 2020, Mitchell passed for over 2,000 yards and 16 touchdowns to go along with only 8 picks. Even after such an underwhelming season, the Bears were able to make the Nickelodeon Divisional against the Saints. And although Mitch passed for nearly 200 yards and a touchdown, the Saints were in control from the get-go and won 21-9. Again, here's our MVP voting, Mitchell Trubisky, 49% of the vote, but... Because he finished off the season a little rocky and was overall just on a decline, there was talks as to whether or not the Bears would draft a quarterback or just stick with good old Mitch. But instead of staying with Trubisky, the two parted ways as the Bears released him and the Bills signed him to a one-year $2.5 million deal. Although Mitchell has a new chance in Buffalo, it will likely be similar to his first few seasons in North Carolina, as Josh Allen has practically locked up the starting spot. Now does that mean that Mitchell will never start? Maybe, but never say never, and now it's just time to see what Mitch can do. From a second overall pick to a backup in Buffalo, Mitchell has had a wild ride, and it will be exciting to see what's next for good old Trubisky. Trubisky on the fakes, gonna let it fly and let it fly deep, he's got a man, and he's got himself a touchdown! Thanks to everyone who watched the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe, like, and comment down below what videos you want next. But anyways, see you guys on Tuesday, and peace out.